If you would ask me to find you one thing that is near perfect as idea, but falls apart as final product, I would say that there is to many of them, but if you correct that request to be more strict and ask specifically about Linux interface and predefined software bundles known as desktop environments, I would probably remember Material Shell, interface distributed as preset for GNOME Shell, central piece of GNOME desktop environment. Material Shell provides a predictable workflow, with the features of a tiling window manager inside of a user-friendly and feature-complete desktop environment, workspaces that feel natural to use, and it's also ready for keyboard-only navigation. Its shortcomings are pretty simple to understand. Firstly, GNOME Shell itself is one of the most resource-intensive environments out there, and while it can be still considered lightweight by modern standards, it's already not an option for many people with lower-end hardware. Second, because it is extension and work in progress one at that, it is less reliable to use than standalone environment. Third shortcoming is that while being customization itself, Material Shell is not very customizable environment, you have limited settings and you are breaking compatibility with most of other extensions for GNOME. There is one simple solution called Material Awesome, which is a predecessor to Material Shell made as configuration for quote unquote awesome window manager. It's lightweight and customizable, but it has its own problems like being not maintained, too complex for many users to install, and generally not working as intended without additional tweaking, which, should I say, is also not intuitive for people who are not a fan of minimalistic winter managers. My own solution to that problem is pretty simple. I recreate features from Material Shell and KDE Plasma, which is a highly customizable and more or less lightweight desktop environment. It has its own problems related to design and stability, but for me it is a solid favourite in terms of ability to tweak as much things as possible while providing at least some sane default settings. You can call me like car, and today, that is exactly what I will provide information about. Please sit down, get ready some backups just in case you will not like the result, and let us begin this tutorial. Material Shell has two parts of interface which are called panels in Plasma, one on top and then on the left sides of screen. It's the most simple thing to recreate, as you only need to enter edit mode in Plasma Desktop, edit mode on your main panel and move it to the top, then right click on empty space on desktop, press that empty panel button and repeat the same action to the side, but then adjust the panel size so it does not overlap with main panel. After that you can move your system tray and digital clock widgets, which are also sometimes called plasmids in case of KDE Plasma. Awesome thing is, you are not forced to do anything like this and you can choose any other panel layer you want. The one I would recommend is using top panel only, and the reason for that is the next topic to talk about. The next step is to recreate app and workspace, or as it called in Plasma Virtual Desktop Switches. For applications, you need to add Task Manager widget instead of default icon only Task Manager, and configure it to not have any pin apps, show both name and icon, and close window on middle click. Place this widget on the top panel or whether you want. Alternatively, you can use custom fancy tasks widget that has more customization options but for some reason cannot properly shrink down when no open window is present. For Virtual Desktop Manager you need to use custom widget called Compact Pager because it is the only one that can be properly used on a vertically oriented panel. If you don't use it original way, though, I would recommend to use built-in pages that has some nice and useful features. The reason why you would want to shrink the task manager is that you would probably add this nice little plus button that acts a main way to add a new window beside it. I recommend creating this button using custom text command widget with command k start with corner. This would run the corner, which is built in but powerful multi purpose search bar, but you can just create this button as one of built in application launchers. The button on the top left is the one I recommend creating with widget called Application Dashboard, but it's also up to you, because original Material Shell has interface more similar to the powerful, but minimalistic application launcher called Rofi. Then, let us proceed to the most sweet topic of this tutorial, the tiling feature. Functions related to the tiling built in Plasma are minimal, similar to the features in Windows, and while they announce some features for the next update, thanks to the customizable nature of the KDE applications, you can use KWIN scripts for the purpose. The one I recommend is Bismuth, which can be installed as a separate app with your distribution package manager. It can be called Bismuth or Quinn Bismuth, so I recommend just checking out the GitHub page. The things you would be interested the most are Monocle, which is basically a maximized layout from Material Shell, Tile spiral and floating layouts you can find in settings, and also other settings you can check and tweak to your liking. There is no graphical way to change layout, 
which is a bummer, but you can use customizable shortcuts you can find in Quinn or separate window tile in shortcut category depending on Bismuth version, or use one of these commands in custom button widgets, for example for that neat little improvised menu I use. For themes, I would recommend using Material and Material Dark as it's more consistent between Qt, Graphical Toolkit native to KDE applications, and GTK applications. For that I would recommend installing Plasma Global Theme using standard KDE feature called Find New Themes. It will also install Papyrus Icon Pack, then go to Application Style, GTK Themes and either use GTK Themes you can find with the same feature or install Theme using Package Manager and find it in drop-down menu and KDE settings. You can also use Kvantum, separate application that you can choose as application style, and then in Kvantum settings you need to choose theme, which you also need to install manually or from package manager. At last, you can install Tila icon theme that material shell creators recommend, though Papyrus is the one covering more applications and providing more consistent look to your desktop. At last, I would recommend to install Plasma Customization Saver widget that would help you to backup and restore most of setting related to your desktop environment. This is how you recreate most of the features of Material Shell in KDE Plasma. I would probably leave config files in the form of Plasma Config Saver Backup, but it has a lot of things that would probably not work on your system with different software versions and different hardware if you use them from backup, and I didn't bother to recreate Material Shell shortcuts because I used different ones and got too used to them to change, so I would recommend to do everything manually with some sprinkle of your own imagination and motion memory. So please, let me know if you think that you would do something better, and I hope to see you again later.